Welcome to Saturday morning. Make sure you're comfortable. You can have your cup of coffee, your cup of tea near you. Just make sure it's not in a place where you're going to spill it. Gather your kitties and your puppies up. They seem to like it. So when you're ready, remember you can always turn some music on. Um, I have birds roosting above us, so you're going to hear the charm of birds being fed every now and then. I'm not being attacked. They're just getting their, their morning breakfast. And I want to say good morning to Elena. Good morning, Elena. I'm glad you could make it. Make sure you're comfortable. Let the hands rest on your legs. We're going to close our eyes. We're going to land into the presence of now. So take a deep breath in. Let it out with a great big sigh. <sighs> Let's try that again. Another big breath in. <sighs> now just for a moment, be still. Your eyes are closed. Breathing naturally any way you need to. Observe your body. Observe the sit bones on the floor. Notice how your back is feeling. The shoulders. The neck. Remember you can sit cross-legged or your legs wide. You could be sitting in a chair. Notice the legs underneath your hands. Let's take another cleansing breath. Take a big breath in. Let it out with a sound. <sighs> now start to move gently into circles. Large circles are small circles. Close your eyes if you'd like to. Change direction of your circles. And just a few times around. Loosening your lower back. Warming your hips up. Take this time to unwind from the week. Unwind from your to-do list. Changing the direction of your circles whenever it feels right to you. Don't count them. Just let it be natural. Just a couple more times around. Warming the fascia up. Now we're going to let those circles evolve into the rhythm of the elephant, where you lean slightly in front of the hips and sway from one side to the other side. Breathe deeply to one side. Exhale out to the other side. Back and forth. Let the lower back soften and allow each breath to be full and deep. Let your breath synchronize with your movement. So many times during tasks during the day, we hold our breath. Let your breath and movement integrate as one. Now when you're ready, doesn't matter if it's the right or the left side, put your hands on each side of one of your legs. Take a deep breath and on your exhale, gently bow to where it's comfortable. 
as you press that opposite hip down to the floor. Let both of your shoulders relax. Let your head hang down. Let your neck be soft. Let it release. Take a deep breath in. Let it out with a great big sigh. <sighs> Shake your head a little yes, a little no. With an inhale, rise back up, hands on the legs, exhale here. Take a deep breath in and draw the shoulders gently towards the ears. Exhale, let them melt down. Turn to the other side, hands on each side of the other leg. And when you bow, only bow as low as it feels safe. Maybe you're up high, maybe you're low enough to kiss your knee. Doesn't matter. What does matter is you're letting the shoulders relax. Let your head hang down, let your neck be soft, let it release. Take another cleansing breath in and again, let it out with a sigh. <sighs> Shake the head gently, yes, a little no. With an inhale, rise back up, hands on the legs, exhale here. With a deep breath in, gently draw the shoulders to the ears and exhale, relax them down. Put the hands on the floor in front of you. If you feel like it and you're able to, bow as low as you'd like to. You can reach out long and kiss the floor, maybe you're up high but we're all letting our heads hang down, letting the shoulders relax. Let your neck be soft, let your neck release. Take another deep breath in and again, let it out with a sound. <sighs> Please take this moment to balance your breath with the mind and your body. With a deep breath in, we're going to rise up. Put the backs of your hands together. Bring them to the heart. Take a deep breath in. Open your arms out wide. Expand. Exhale. Let your hands meet over your head. Inhale. Reach up tall. And on your exhale, the hands come down to the heart. Namaste. Release the hands. Bring the shoulders up. Relax the shoulders down. Drop your right ear towards the shoulder and take your left hand out on the floor and move it back just enough. Open your eyes, look out the left side of your eye up to the ceiling, lift your chin slightly with the gaze. Take a deep breath and go, ah. Slow and gentle. Rotate your nose, look down at the right side. Let your head hang, let the shoulders relax. That's the hard part of this. Take a deep breath and let it go. <sighs> Shake your head gently, yes, a little no. Bring your hand to the knee, tuck your chin to your chest, no movements. And then bring shoulders up to your ears, lift your head up, relax the shoulders back and down. Drop your left ear towards the shoulder. Just let it be natural. Right hand goes out on the floor, move it back just enough. Open your eyes, look out the right side of your eye, lift your chin slightly with the gaze. Take a deep breath in and go, <sighs> Now slow and gentle, rotate your nose looking down at the left side. Let your head hang, take a deep breath and go. <sighs> yes, it's with your chin. Bring your right hand to your knee, tuck your chin to your chest, no movements. Bring both shoulders up to your ears. Lift your head up. Relax the shoulders back and down. So we're going to take our right hand on our shoulder, our elbow out to the side. Get circles in the shoulder. Go one way, go the other way. 
loosen it up. We're getting synovial fluid into that shoulder socket, setting a good tone for the day. Bring your elbow forward, stretch your arm out in front of you. If you've got a bad hand, you're going to leave that out. Bring your pinky in, your thumb holds it down. You pull your ring finger back towards the elbow, get that stretch, and don't overstretch it if it's your first time. Bring your hand to your shoulder and straighten it out. Get the middle finger, pull it back. Hand to the shoulder, now straighten it out. Pointer finger, pull it back. Hand to the shoulder and straighten it out. Shake that hand out. Bend the elbow, palm up. Try to pull all four fingers down as best as you can. Get that deep stretch from your elbow to your fingertips. Deep in the wrist and in the hand. Now you're going to go underneath and pull your thumb down and pull each one of your fingers down one at a time. Like I'm about toes, hands grip all day long. Let's stretch them out. Pull all the fingers down and then shake that hand out. Same thing to the other side. Left hand on your shoulder, elbow out to the side. Circles one way. And then you change the direction and go the other way. A couple of times, just like when we do our hips. Now we're going to bring our elbow forward, stretch your arm out, pinky in, thumbs holding it down. Get your ring finger, pull back, hand to the shoulder. Straighten it out. Get the middle finger, pull it back, hand to the shoulder, and straighten it out. Pointer finger, pull it back, hand to the shoulder, and straighten it out. Shake your hand out, palm up, pull all those fingers down and get that deep stretch. Feels different on each side too. Now we're going to go underneath, pull your thumb down and get each one of your fingers down one at a time. And then shake your hand out. Now let's get the legs out. And I always suggest be setting on a pillow or a blanket. It makes your back and your hips feel better. Work your ankles around going one way, then the other way, so you get circles in your ankles. Now this is the furthest place away from our brain and our heart. This is a real important place to keep integrated. So you want to flex and point your feet too. Now we're going to take those circles and go in opposite directions from each other. Go one way, then the other way. We should all be doing this when we're sitting down and have our feet up. Flex and point those feet again. And in fact, we're going to go a little further into it. We're going to turn all the toes up to the ceiling. Spread your toes wide apart. Pull back on the pinky toe side. Now I always like to adjust my legs, pull the abundance out from underneath. And that literally rotates your femur bone so it's easier to get those heels uh, out underneath the toes. Spread the toes. You should feel that intensity from toe to hip. Now we're going to do windshield wipers, so keep your feet engaged, spreading those toes, and we're going to rock them from side to side, and you're going to feel it in your hip socket a bit. Now we're going to do European windshield wipers, so bring them in, take them out, bring them in, take them out. Feel that deeper in your hips. Work your ankles around one way, then the other way. Now one more before we um, leave our feet. We're going to point our ankles out, curl your toes down. Keep your ankles just like this, only the toes. Turn all the toes up, spread the toes wide. The ankle is still stretched out in front of you. You're feeling an intensity in the feet. The top of the feet, the arches, pull back on that pinky toe and then work your ankles around. Go one way, then the other. 33 joints in our feet, more than anywhere else, we need to keep them active and, and flexible. So kids, we're gonna meet each other on our backs. Please grab your yoga strap, put it uh, to the side so you know where it is, and we're gonna have our knees bent and our feet flat on the floor. And once you're down here, we're going to pick our feet up off the floor, place your hands right on top of the knees. 
please don't put anything under your head if your neck is hurting. A folded blanket or a towel. Do not ball anything up under your neck. Take a deep breath here. Knees can be together or wide apart. And on your next personal exhale, squeeze your tummy into the spine and draw your knees to your chest. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, up. Exhale, bring it in. Again, bring it up. Now, last time, bring it in. Pull that tummy in, knees in, and take your hands, put them behind your knees. Squeeze the knees over your hands. Those, ha those legs go right over the hands. It opens your knee joint. And you're going to bring your nose to your bent knees and round your back. Stretch it. Take two deep breaths. And then let your head and your shoulder rest to the floor. Please put your left foot on the yoga mat. Keep your right knee in and bring your nose to your right knee. Take two deep breaths. We're just stretching the back easily and gently. Let your head and shoulders rest to the floor. Grab your yoga strap. Put it around your right foot. Send the right leg straight up to the ceiling and stretch the back of that leg from heel to hip. Your shoulders are relaxed down. Take a deep breath and go. <sighs> Say good morning to those hamstrings. Now when you're ready, if it feels good, if you're in pain, don't do it, but stretch your left leg out if it feels safe to you. Pull that leg gently towards you. Now we're letting our left arm rest out anywhere comfortable, palm up. Let your right leg go out to the right side as much or as little as needed. You can prop it on a piece of furniture or on a wall if you're not going too far. But we're all going to point our nose straight to the ceiling. We're all going to tuck our chin slightly down to our chest so we pull that cervical curve out. And we're breathing. Stretch the neck there. Now we're going to relax our neck. We're going to open the mouth wide and stick the tongue out for lion's roar. So open out and stick your tongue out and go. <sighs> Close the mouth. If your neck feels good, look over your left shoulder. If not, straight to the ceiling is great. Now we're going to bring our right leg up to the ceiling, back out to the right side in circles, just like we did with our shoulder. Go one way around, oh, a few times, before you change the direction and go the other way around a few times. Keep breathing. You may or hear or feel clunks and bumps. Maybe you don't. It's all good. Now we're going to bring our right leg back to the middle. We're both, both hands are going to grab the strap, pull it gently towards you. Remember, if your back is hurting, you can always have that left knee bent foot on the floor. Now your left hand has your yoga strap. Your right arm rests anywhere comfortably palm up. Pull your left, uh, sorry, right leg to the left side and look either straight to the ceiling or look over your right shoulder. Now, if your hamstrings are super tight and your back is tight, your right knee is going to be bent. If you're feeling pretty good this morning, that right leg could be straight. It's what feels best to you. Make it your shape. Relax your shoulders into the floor, looking up or to the right. Please take another deep breath in this gentle twist, and it should be gentle. <sighs> now bring that right leg back up. Both hands give that right leg another stretch. Now we're going to take our strap off the foot. Support your right leg with your hands or not. Work your ankle in circles. Go one way, go the other way. It feels different when it's up in the ceiling. You think differently too. Now, if you're hardcore and want to work on the core, flex your foot, pull your tummy in, and slowly bring the leg down. If you're not feeling it, bend your knee and slide your right leg out. But we're all going to have our legs out long. If it feels safe for us, point your toes and reach your arms out. If you're not feeling good, your knees are bent, feet are on the floor. Reach your arms out over your head. 
point your toes if you can. And then turn your toes to the ceiling and press through the heels of your feet to your fingertips. Now we're going to bring both knees up if you're in pain. It's one at a time until they're both there. Hands behind your knees. Nose to bent knees. Round your back. Stretch that back. Let the head and shoulders rest on the floor. Right foot is on the mat. Knee is bent. Hands behind your left knee. Nose to left knee. Round it. Stretch your back. Two deep breaths. And then let your head and shoulders return to the floor. Get your yoga strap. Put it around that left leg. Stretch that left leg. Feel that from heel to hip. Everybody's going to feel it a little differently. Get your back relaxed to the floor. Now only if it feels good, stretch that right leg out with the left leg. That increases the stretch, doesn't it? Keep breathing. Say good morning to these hamstrings, your calf muscles. You may even be feeling it in the heel of your foot. This is great for plantar fasciitis too. We want to be stretching into that heel. Now, your left hand has your strap. Your right arm rests out comfortable, palm up. Let the left leg rest out to the left side as much or as little as needed. Look straight to the ceiling. And we're all going to tuck our chin slightly to stretch that cervical curve. And always be breathing. Now, relax your neck just like we did before, lion's roar. Stick your tongue out and go... Close the mouth. Look over your right shoulder if it feels good. That stretches everything from your tongues to the breathing muscles around your lungs. Now we're going to bring that left leg up to the ceiling and out to the left side. Nice big circles. Go one way several times before you change the direction and go the other way. And again, this is going to feel different on this side. You may hear or feel sounds. Clunks and bumps are normal. And some people don't have anything. Bring it back to the center. Both hands grab the strap. Give it a nice stretch. Now let the left arm rest out comfortable. Palm up. Let's pull the left leg across the body. If you're stiff and tight, bend the left knee. If you're feeling good, straighten the left leg. <clears throat> Excuse me. And especially if you want to go for a deep twist, that bottom knee, your right knee could be slightly bent while the left leg is straight. And it takes you into a way different twist. But again, if you're not feeling it today, have your knees bent slightly, your, your left knee. Now let's take a cleansing breath here. <sighs> Let's bring the left leg up to the ceiling. Both hands are going to grab that strap. Give that a little more of a stretch there. Now we're going to take the ankle, the strap off your foot. Point your toes and work your ankle around in circles. Go one way several times before you go the other way several times. Now if you're hardcore and want to work on the abs, Flex your foot and slowly bring it down. If you're not feeling that today, bend your knee and slide your leg out. If you choose, your legs are straight or the feet can be on the floor. That depends on how you're feeling. Point your toes, reach your arms out, hollow body. Turn your toes up, press through the heels of your feet. And now we're going to hug behind our right knee. Turn all your toes to the ceiling and pull back on your pinky toe top side to your knee. Pull your tummy in and upward. Keep it there. And lift that left leg up two inches. If your neck is feeling good, please bring your nose round your back, nose to right knee. If you'd like to, reach the left arm over your thigh or next to it. Pull that tummy in. We're working the lower back, your core. Now we're going to let it drop down to the floor. Hug your left knee into your chest. Have right and left knee in. Nose to left knee, or nose to the bent knees. Round your back. Let your head and shoulders rest on the floor. Extend your right leg out long. 
Turn all, all the toes towards the ceiling. Pull back on your pinky toe side. Pull your tummy in and upward. Keep it there. Lift your right leg up two inches. Nose to left knee. Reach your right arm over your thigh. Pull the tummy in. And then we're going to relax it down. Bring your right knee in to meet your left knee. Nose to bent knees, rounding back. Head and shoulders rest to the floor. Same thing again. Extend the left leg out. You have your right knee in. Turn the toes up. Pinkies pull towards your knees. Pull your tummy in and up. Left heel comes up two inches. Nose to right knee. Reach the left arm over the thigh or next to it. Pull the tummy in. Relax head and shoulders down. Left knee comes in to meet right knee. Nose to the knees. Let your head and shoulders rest. Extend the right leg out. Turn the toes up. Pull back on your pinky toe. Pull the tummy in. Right leg lifts up. Nose to left knee. Reach over that right thigh or next to it. One more breath, kids. And then we're going to bring the right knee in to meet your left knee. Nose to knees. And then we're going to stretch the legs out long. Point your toes. Turn the toes up. Press through the heels of your feet to your fingertips. And then relax everything. Now all we're going to do is roll over onto our tummies. So once you lay on your tummies, Stack your hands, on uh, one on top of the other. Your forehead rests on your hands. The heels of your feet are rested out wide. So toes inward, heels out. It's like you're pigeon-toed, not Charlie Chaplin. Get that legs out wide enough. Make sure your butt muscles are relaxed. You're not a tight ass. It's the weekend. Let it go. Wiggle your butt. Make sure it's loose. Most of us aren't been so conditioned to grip that area. Now kids, we're gonna gently, we've been rounding and stretching the back, we're gonna do the reverse, a mini back bend, which means we come up on our elbows. Now if this hurts your lower back, for goodness sakes, come back down, stack your hands, and let your forehead rest on your hands. That should be enough of a back bend, but if you're feeling it this morning, Go ahead and put the elbows underneath your shoulders. The heels flop out. And you're going to let your head just hang. And as long as it feels comfortable enough for your back, keep the hips relaxed. Keep your belly relaxed. Again, if this is causing pain, please come back down, forehead on your hands. To make sure your shoulders are, and elbows are in alignment, take your hands, cross your wrists, and make sure you can grab your elbows easily. That means that they're in the right spot. Then bring your hands back out, maybe interlace them if you choose. Let your head hang. Take a deep breath and go. <sighs> Relax your hips, your lower back. Take two deep breaths and feel the body rise and expand. On the exhale, feel the body melt and release down to the floor. Try that at least one more breath. Maybe you want to do two more like that, where you rise and expand and just explore that. But in return, that exhale, let everything melt and release maybe a little bit more to the floor. And after that last breath, just let your breath be. Your chin is hanging. And if it feels good, we're going to make our chin do little nose. They could be teeny nose, evolving into large nose, maybe no nose at all. Maybe your forehead is resting on your hands. 
Just a couple more. Be very slow and very gentle. And then let your head hang. Take a deep breath and go. <sighs> now we're going to come down. So put your arms by your side. One cheek rests on the floor. If your neck is hurting, folded blanket or towel under your cheek will relieve that. Arms are by your side, palms up. Take a deep breath, expand out wide, and exhale, let it all melt to the floor. <sighs> Bend both knees, and we're going to crisscross our ankles back and forth a few times. Turn your head to the opposite cheek and drop your feet from side to side. And then we're going to drop our feet down to the floor. Take a deep breath in. Let it out with a big sigh. <sighs> now we're going to do child's pose on the knees. So if child's pose is on your knees is a no-no, please come onto your back and hug your knees to your chest. But if you can, hands under your shoulders, hips to heels. Toes touch. Knees can be together or wide apart. You could put a blanket or a pillow between your thigh and your calf. If your knees are bothering you, your hips go as low as they can to the heels. Your head rests on your stacked arms or to the floor. If you're a pro at this, remember your arms can go anywhere. Palms up by your side, arms out in front of you, whatever configuration you would like. The whole point of this is stretching from tailbone to your head. It's stretching your knees, the tops of those feet. If you can handle this in bed for 15 minutes, it will release your back and your hips. Now, if you can't be in cat-cow on your hands and knees, be on your elbows and knees. Take your hands underneath your shoulders. You're in table pose. So again, if you have a hand issue, I want you on your elbows. We're not going to be here for long. Or if you're on your hands, the soft spot of your elbows is rotated forward. Your elbows are not bent. The arms are straight and stacked. We're going into cat, puffing the back up to the ceiling, and then gently move to cow. Go back and forth from cat and move it to cow. Breathe. Fall. Breathe deeply here. Just a couple of times. This is stretching each one of your vertebras. Please do not look up any higher than it feels comfortable to you in cow pose. We're stretching everything in the back. Now the next time you have cat, hold the cat where you're puffing up, relax your butt muscles, pull the tummy in, and press the hips as low as they go. Some of you, your hips are way up high. Some of your hips are all the way to your heels. Reach your arms up off the floor. Elbows, I'm sorry, hands are on the floor. Elbows are off the floor. Drop your head down between your arms. And with an inhale, lift into table and exhale press it back top your chin inhale to table and exhale press it back top your chin now keep your hips as low as they go and they may be up to the ceiling they may not be down that's fine look up at your hands you're going to walk your hands all the way over to the left side enough to feel it in your right side body Reach your arms out, elbows off the floor, drop your head between the arms. If it feels good, put that right hand on top of the left hand and twist to the center. Feel that to the right side. And of course, you could go both ways. Twisting both ways is lovely here. Take one more breath. Then you're going to look up at your hands and you're going to walk your way to the center. We're going to take a deep breath. Inhale to table pose. Exhale, tuck your chin, 
press it back to extended child. Look up at your hands, walk your hands over to the right side as far as it feels comfortable. Feel that in your left side body. Let your head drop between your straight arms. And if it feels good, put that left hand on top of the right hand. Twist to the center, left side body. Breathe, get that nice deep stretch. You can twist both ways too, that's fun. And then we're gonna look up at our hands, walk our way back to the center. Last time, inhale, come to table pose, and exhale, press it back. Uh, relax your elbows, any child's. And then kids, we're gonna meet each other, setting on our bottoms again. So once you lift up, get your um, blanket or your pillow and stick it down so you can set up onto it. We're gonna go into the hamstrings a little more. So we're gonna take our legs out comfortably wide. Just comfortable. And I know I can hear some knees uh, talking to me right now. So remember, that's why I always say grab um, pillows or um, towels. I love hand towels to roll up and stick underneath the knees. So make sure your knees are happy. If those hamstrings are straight, screaming and you can't straighten your legs, even if you have something high to sit on, put something under those knees. Turn the toes up and turn the toes straight up to the ceiling. And again, you may have to pull the fluff out from underneath you. Spread the toes out, lift all the way up. You should be feeling that in the groin muscles, the hamstrings, the calves. Now, all we're going to do is relax our feet and slide the soles of the feet together. Bounce your knees up and down. And again, I know for some of you, this is incredibly tight and your knees are practically up to your shoulders. That's okay. We're going to loosen them. For some of us, that's, it, it's how we're constructed and it's going to always be tight. But you need to open this area no matter how tight or limber you are. Let the knees rest out. Don't force them. Just let them rest out. If you're in pain, a prop under your thighs. We're not going to use muscle energy. We're going to do the opposite. Relax. Let everything go. You may be setting up high, letting your head hang. You may be all the way down low with your arms at the floor. It doesn't matter whether you're setting up high or down low. What matters is, is you, you're relaxing. Let gravity pull your shoulders and your head downward. This is a heavy area. You could topple right over if there was a uh, if you were hanging over too low of a railing. So let gravity pull you forward here. Let gravity stretch your back and your shoulders. Take a deep breath in. Stretch your back rib cage, not your belly. Make your back, your side ribs, everything big out. And then on your exhale, pull your belly in and draw the tummy up towards the heart for the exhalation. And then take a deep breath, make everything big, expand out wide, exhale, squeeze it in and up. Do that just another breath. Then we're going to take a deep breath in and go, Use your hands to lift yourself back up. Once you come up, we're going to take our legs out again. Turn the toes up. Maybe adjust your hips. We're going to twist here. So we're going to bring our left hand anywhere you want behind you. Your right hand to the thigh. Maybe it goes to the floor in front of you. Set up tall and look over your left shoulder just to where it's comfortable. Keep your hands where they are and slowly turn your head. Look over at the right toes. See if you can see them. Some of you have neck issues and you're not seeing your right toes. Now we're going to turn our gaze back over to the left foot. Relax your hands on each side of the left leg. Bend your left knee a little bit or a lot. Relax your toes. Allow yourself to bow over your left leg a lot or a little. If your right hip has come up, you've gone too far. You can have that left knee bent a whole lot again, 
or your left leg could be straight. What feels best to you? Take a deep breath and go. Ah. Use your hands to lift yourself back up. Come back to the center. Work your ankles around. Slide the soles of the feet together. Bounce the knees. Give yourself a gentle bow forward. We're not staying here for more than a breath. Take a deep breath. Ah. Inhale, lift up, and then take the heels out again. Spread the toes wide, pull back on the pinky toe. Right hand behind you, left hand to the floor or to the outside of your right thigh. Set up tall, look over your right shoulder only to where it feels comfortable. Keep the toes engaged. Remember, you can have a prop under those knees if you need to. Now slowly turn your head, look over at the left toes. See if the left toes have listed out or are they still straight? We're using muscle energy here. Now we're gonna turn your head, look over at your right foot, bend your uh, hands, relax on each side of the right knee, bend your right knee a lot or a little bit. But we're all gonna relax the feet and relax your shoulders and neck over your right leg. The right knee could be bent a whole lot, or your knee could be straight. Anywhere in between is lovely. Let that left hip press down. Let your body rest over the right side. Take a breath and go. <sighs> You're gonna lift yourself back up. Once you come all the way up, come to the center, work your ankles. Slide the soles of the feet together. Bounce the knees one more time. Now we're going to use muscle energy. So we're holding on to our feet or our ankles, anywhere that you can hold on to. Here's the hard part. Set up tall. Draw your shoulder blades to the spine. Tuck your chin because we're pulling that cervical curve long. We're going to look out at the floor just a few inches above your toes and press your thighs downward towards the, the floor. Shoulders back, tummy in, tucking the chin, press the thighs down. You should feel some heat in the body. Keep breathing. This is cobbler's pose. Now we're going to bend our elbows out wide. Your elbows are going to either land into your thighs, the top, for tops of your shins, or maybe the fronts of your shins. But no matter where your elbows land, we're going to pull the tummy in and we're going to use our elbows to press into the legs, either thighs or the shins. Make your back long. Tuck your chin. Feel the back really long. Feel muscle energy here. You don't need to be using your hands. You're using your elbows for that extra stretch in your back. You can even stretch one side a little more than the other too. That should feel good. Keep breathing. And then on your next exhale, we're going to do what we did before. Let it go. Relax everything. Let your arms, let your neck go, let your shoulders go, let your hips relax. Please take another deep breath here. <sighs> Lift yourself back up. Hands behind your thighs. Bring the knees in together. Once you do, we're going to uh, sit back in the hammock. So that means if you're comfortable enough to put your hands back behind you or lean up against something, we're just going to rock the knees from side to side. We let the pose marinate in the body that way. Now I'm going to have you do this later on in class, but we're going to do it now setting up. Feet wide apart, knees wide apart. We're going to press one knee down, point one knee towards the ceiling. This is a deep internal rotation into your hip socket. It is an essential rotation for us. That's usually why our hips give us trouble. Who sits like this? Who moves like this on a daily basis? Bring the knee up and press the other knee down. You may be that 1% who's going, I do this all the time. I sit like this naturally. It's only a small percentage of the population that's a normal thing. For most of us, we have to work on it. Now let's bring that other that knee up and push that first knee down again. Hopefully it's a little easier. And I forgot to mention, if you needed a pillow there to support the leg, put it there. 
Everybody's stiff in different places. Bring the knee up and press the other knee down. Hold it and keep breathing. Remember, flexible and balanced people do not come to yoga. We come to yoga to become flexible or a little more flexible. Bring the knee up. Walk the feet and the knees in together. We're going to stretch our uh, left leg out. And we're going to take our right leg and cross it over the left leg. We're going to turn the left toes straight up to the ceiling and spread the toes wide apart. Pull back on the pinky toe side. We're going to bring our uh, left hand over to hold our right knee or hug the right knee. We're going to put our right hand at our collarbones because we're going to use our elbow to point into the twist. So we're going to sit up tall, point your right elbow back behind you as far as it's going to go. Unfold the right arm and spread your fingers and try to look into the palm of your right hand, if you can. And then we're going to drop that right hand down onto the floor, flat hand or on teacup fingers. We're going to relax the left toes and see if we can twist a little further, pulling your right knee across the body with your left arm or your hand, or maybe the elbow goes to the outside and you get a deeper twist. Please take another breath there. And then we're going to slowly turn the head, look to the left, and unwind it. Ah. Oh. So now we're going to pick our foot up in our left hand or our left elbow. This is referred to as rocking your baby. Loosen that hip up. You can do this while you're binge watching your shows or watching sports or, you know, your sports games. Now we're going to put our ankle on your thigh and you're going to, I'm sorry, get your fingers between your toes. I'm all about the feet. We expect our feet to haul us around and balance us. And what do we do? We do nothing for them. We just put inappropriate shoes on them. Stick your fingers between those toes. Get them stretched out. Put the palm of your hand to the sole of your foot. Oh, that may be incredibly painful. I'm sorry. Breathe there. Now, just let the nervous system connect. There are more nerves in the sole of your foot and in the palm of your hand for very obvious reasons. They're communicating right now. Work your ankle around. Go one way, go the other way. Flex and point your foot. Get to do this regularly, at least once a day, if not twice or three times a day. We want to keep your feet flexible. We want to keep the nervous system alive and healthy. Now we're going to pull the hand out and then we're going to stretch that right leg in front of us. We're going to put our forearm behind it, squeeze your knee off for the knee help, and we're going to work your ankle around. Go one way, then the other way. Your kneecap is a free floater and by putting something behind the knee like this actually lifts the, the, the patella up and opens the joint somewhat. And when you're ready, send that leg out, work your ankles. Let's do the same thing to the other side. Left foot crosses over right. Right hand holds the knee or it hugs the knee or the elbow goes to the outside. Left hand on your collarbones, use your elbow to point your way into it. Turn your right toes up, pull back on your right pinky toe. Feel how that sits you upright. Now, take a deep breath and exhale, squeeze your tummy. Use your left elbow to to twist into it and then unfold that left arm. Try to look into the palm of the hand. Now take another breath there, reach, reach, reach. And then we're going to turn the left hand onto the floor, flat hand or teacup fingers, and we're going to look over the left shoulder. Our right arm is holding it or hugging it or the elbow goes to the outside and you get a little extra twist. You may get that little adjustment, that pop in your back that the chiropractor can do. You can do most of those pops. Take another breath. <sighs> and then we're going to slowly turn the head, look as far to the right. And then we're going to unwind it. You're going to pick your foot up in your right hand or your right elbow. Rock that baby, get that hip loose. No double or single pigeon today. Don't all go darn at the same time. Now we're going to put our left ankle on our right side. You're going to take your hand, 
get your fingers between the toes. Try to get the joints, the biggest part of your fingers, between the toes. Maybe it's the smallest part of one finger you're able to get in there today. But try to get all four fingers between your five toes. Get the palm of your hand to the sole of your foot to get the nervous system to talk to each other. They're talking about you behind your back. Hopefully they're saying nice things about you. Work your ankle around going, oh, they stretch me every morning and every evening. I feel loved and supported. Rock your foot back and forth, back and forth. And then give it a nice squeeze. Think about it. Think about everything those feet do for you. Spend some time with them. Do this after a bath or a shower or in the bathtub. Take your hand out. Oh, get the left leg out. Let's open the knee up. Put your forearm right behind the knee. Squeeze the knee off. Work your ankle around. If you happen to have any soft tissue left, this gives it an opportunity to get back in there. You may not have any left. It's chicken soup then. Couldn't hurt. Take the leg out. Work your ankles around. One way, then the other. Flex and point your feet. Now we are going to come down, but we're going to come down and peel off and for the folks that um, want to work on their core. Um, so if you want to come down with us and do a forward fold and come down any way you want, you're welcome to it. If you're coming down and peel off, you really need to take the blanket or the pillow out from your hips. We're going to take the legs out in front of us and we turn the toes up and pull the pinky toes back. Now that may be difficult for some of you. I know some of you have shaky legs. Those hamstrings are still tight. Adjust the abundance out from under you. You're actually rotating the femur bone. So it should be easier to have the heels out underneath your toes instead of like Charlie Chaplin. Now we're going to set up. We're going to bring the arms straight up. Spread your fingers. Now we're going to take three exhales to come into a for forward fold. So we're going to lengthen tall. Exhale, come down a tiny bit. Inhale, reach out with those fingertips. Exhale, come down a tiny bit more. And again, your knees could be bent. Inhale, reach, reach, reach. And exhale, let your arms rest on each side of your legs. Either you can rest by the feet, your ankles, the shin, or your knees. But let your head relax, relax your feet. Relax your back. Again, you may be way up high, just tucking your chin and stretching the back. That's fine. You're stretching everything in your back body from heels to top of your head, no matter how high or low you are. Please take another breath there and go. Ah. Now we're going to do the peel down. Turn the toes up, pull back on your pinky toe. Look at your feet. We're reaching the arms out, spread your fingers. You may be setting up, you may be reaching way out over your feet. Tuck your chin slightly to pull that cervical curve out. Pull the tummy in, reach. Now, round your back, pull that tummy in and round your back. Tuck the tailbone underneath you. You're still reaching towards those feet, the feet are engaged and we're slowly from tail to head, lowering each vertebra down one at a time but you have to do this in a rounding fashion pull the tummy in that's your core it's not making a bread basket pull it way in and let each vertebra come down one at a time once you're down reach your arms out over your head and point your toes hollow body and then we're going to hug both knees into your chest, round your back, nose to bent knees. Now kids, we're going to meet each other onto our left hand side. We're going to end with scallops this morning. I know lots of twisting. I like to twist on Saturdays to help get some of the junk out from the week. So if you need to put a blanket under your cheek because it feels weird and wonky, don't put it behind your ear. Right hand stacks on top of the left. It's like you're a fallen down table. We're going to spread your right hand wide and with an inhale, bring your right arm straight up, look up. And on your own exhale, lower your back down. See if you can get your right shoulder blade down. If it doesn't go down, put a pillow underneath it and set your hand on your hip. But if it does, bend your elbow a lot and drop it to the floor, fingertips pointing up. 
and then drop your hand to the ground. So maybe your hand is on your hip and the shoulder has a pillow underneath of it, but we all start with our nose pointing to the ceiling. Lift your head up the tiniest bit, tuck your chin, and then drop your head down onto the floor. Gently look over your right shoulder if it feels good. Take a deep breath and go, ah. See if that right shoulder can relax a little more. Let's take a huge breath. Make your belly really big. And then exhale. Squeeze your belly in and up towards the heart. Do that two times. Inhale. Make it really, really, really big. Exhale. Squeeze the belly in and up. And your last breath. Expand out as wide as you can. Hold it as long as you can, and when you exhale, pull the tummy in and upward, and then let your breath be. That cleanses your organs. Now let's take a deep breath in and go, <sighs> spread your right hand wide. Inhale from your left shoulder up to your right fingertips, one straight line, look up. And then exhale, bring it down to the palm of your left hand. Last time, bring the right arm straight up. Look up. Roll your back down, your shoulder blade, your elbow, then the hand. Relax. Hopefully the right shoulder is more relaxed than the first time. Take a deep breath and go. <sighs> Where would you like to look? to the ceiling or to the right side. But we're gonna take our right leg and we're gonna swing that chin out to the left side. So flex your right foot. Pull back on your right pinky toe towards the knee. Feel how that realigns your whole leg to the hip. Now, with an inhale, keep that leg straight and the foot engaged. Lift that right leg up only two inches. That's a tiny bit. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, bring it up two inches. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, bring it up two inches. Hold it here, keep breathing. Turn the heel of your foot downward, pointing the toes upward. Oh, that's special in your hip, I know. Keep breathing. Now relax your right foot. Bend your right knee again, bring it home to the bottom leg. Don't go anywhere. Take a deep breath and go. <sighs> Spread your right hand wide. Inhale from left shoulder to right fingertips, bring it up. Exhale, bring it down to the palm of your left hand. We're going to meet each other on our backs before we do the other side. Take your feet up off the floor, hands right on top of your knees. Three apanasanas. Take a deep breath. Exhale, squeeze your tummy in, knees to chest. Inhale, up. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, up. And exhale in. Release it, and let's roll to the right side. Have your knees bent, your arms parallel to the thigh. If you need a blanket under your cheek, it's under your cheek, not behind your ear. Left hands on the top, spread your fingers, inhale, bring your left arm straight up, look up. Roll your back down to the floor. Try to get your shoulder blade down. If it doesn't, hand on your hip. If it does, bend the elbow, put your elbow down, reaching your fingertips up, and then the hand drops down to the ground. If your hand is on your hip, make sure there's a nice cushy pillow underneath your shoulder to support it. After you've done this pose several times, I guarantee the shoulder will be on the floor. Everybody's nose is pointing straight up to the ceiling. Lift your head up slightly, tuck your chin, and relax your head back onto the floor. Look over your left shoulder if it feels good, up to the ceiling if it's more better. Spread your left hand wide. Take and relax it. Just relax the shoulder. Let's take a deep breath in and let it go with a sigh. <sighs> we keep all of that real tight, don't we? 
Now let's get three breaths to cleanse the organs. Inhale, make everything big, expand it wide. Exhale, squeeze your belly in and draw it up towards the heart. Two more times, expand out wide, wide, wide. And exhale, pull the tummy in and up. After that last breath, the third breath, let your breath just be. Now before we leave here, let's take another deep cleansing breath in and let it out with a sound. <sighs> From your right shoulder to your left fingertips, spread the left hand wide. Inhale, bring it all the way up, look up. Exhale, bring it down to your right hand. Inhale, left arm straight up, look up. Roll your back down, your shoulder blade, your elbow, then the hand. Extend your left leg out to the right side, flex your foot. Your knees and thighs stay in alignment. We're just kicking your shin out. Flex your foot, pull back on that left pinky toe side. Try not to look at your foot. Inhale, lift the leg up two inches. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, bring it up two inches. Exhale, lower it down. One more time, bring it up two inches. Hold it here, keep breathing. Turn the heel of your foot down, pointing the toes up, and feel that in your hip. Take another breath there. Now relax your left foot, bend your left knee, bring it home to the right leg. Another cleansing breath. <sighs> Spread your left hand wide. Inhale, bring your arm and your back straight up, look up. Exhale, bring it down to the palm of your right hand. Please roll onto your back. Once you do, take your knees together and put your feet wide apart. So just like when we were sitting, this is called relaxation pose. This opens your sacrum and makes that internal rotation in your hip, which is so important. Point one knee towards the ceiling as you're pressing one knee down. Hold it and keep breathing. Now go to the other side, point that knee up and press the other knee down. Hold it and keep breathing. Gently go from side to side. Do it slow. Do it extra slow. Don't whip it back and forth. Just a few times. Now we're going to bring both knees back up. Walk your feet and knees in together. Hug behind both knees. Round your back. Bring your nose to your bent knees. Hopefully your back is really loose now. Let your head and shoulders rest to the floor. But if not, this should help loosen it. Let your arms rest out or hold on to your knees. But we're going to take the knees around in a circle together. Going one way, going the other way. This should feel good, and for God's sakes, if it doesn't feel good, stop it. Breathe. Do this often for yourself. Why aren't we doing this more often? Now separate the knees. Get those circles in your hip, just like we did earlier when we had straps. Go one way, then the other. And your hands could be on your knees, especially if you've got a sore back. You really need to have your hands on your knees while you're doing that. Then we're going to reach our hands between our legs and we're going to grab our feet. This is called half, happy baby. The requirement is a smile on your face. Rock yourself from side to side. Stimulates the kidneys and it loosens the hips up. Now, when you're ready, you could throw a pillow right underneath your hips so your legs could rest out over it. You could just let them rest out. Maybe for resting pose, you would you prefer to set up or lay on your side. If you set up, please lean up against something. Let your arms rest out, palms up. Eyes are closed. This is the time to relax your mind, to do yoga for your mind. So instead of your mind directing you, you are directing your mind to relax 
and let go. Take a deep breath in, let it out with a great big sigh. <sighs> Take a deep breath in, hold the breath. Eek a little more breath in, now blow it out hard. <sighs> Try it again. Breathe in, hold your breath. Sip a little more breath in. Now blow it out hard, send it out. Let any discomfort, dis-ease, thoughts, emotions, let them leave. Now we're going to make two universal sounds. The sound of ah and the sound of mmm. Take a deep breath in. Let it out with ah. Take a deep breath in. Let it out with mmm. Try those two sounds again. Breathe in. <sighs> Breathe in. Mm. Notice the vibration left on your lips. Let that vibration reverberate through the entire body. Imagine every cell of your body is able to open up and savor that delicious sensation. Find the sound of your own breath the sound of it's right there between your ears. Listen for it. Hear it and feel it at the back of your throat, deepening like a gentle wave. Let that wave flow all the way down to your toes. Hear that gentle wave flowing all the way up to the top of the head, flowing from head to toe, fingertip to fingertip. Allow that gentle wave to flow from skin deep down to the bone. Let each breath soothe your body. Let each breath relax. Let it release the whole mind. Bring your awareness to that spot between your eyebrows. Let that spot between your eyebrows open Feel that space become wider. Allow the forehead and the scalp to simply melt away, inviting deep waves of relaxation to flow into the face. The eyes soften. The cheeks relax. Your jaws release. Let your chin hang heavy. As every fiber in your neck seems to soften and release, notice the ears are melting further down. As you breathe deeply into the fronts of your shoulders, allow the backs of your shoulders to simply melt away. 
Notice those waves of relaxation flowing deeply into your arms, soothing your hands as it flows to the fingertips. As each breath expands your ribs just a bit more, notice the gentle wave, the flow of your breath. Let it release each vertebra into the mat. As you breathe deeply into the fronts of your hips, allow the backs of your hips to simply melt away. Allowing those waves of relaxation to cascade deep into your thighs. Soothing your knees as it flows deep into your calves and down to each one of your feet. Follow that flow from head to toe, fingertip to fingertip, skin to bone. Let each breath soothe your body. Let each breath relax. Let it release the whole mind. As you start to bring yourself back, come on back to the room. Wiggle the toes, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your ankles and wiggle your wrists. Take a nice deep breath in with any extra stretch you'd like. Bring yourself back to the body more fully, more completely. When you're ready, Draw your knees up, roll to the right if it's good, roll to the left if it's better. Come to any seated position you would like. We're gonna do angel breathing before we head off into our day. So set any way you want. You can be setting on a chair, cross-legged or straight. We're gonna take our hands and interlace them. The thumbs come together, don't cross them. The thumbs rest against your chest and your chin rests on the knuckles. You let the back relax, let it round, let the elbows hang. With an inhale, lift your elbows up, lift your heart. Exhale, let it float down. Inhale, lift your elbows, lift your heart. Exhale, let it float down. Three more. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, float it down. Inhale, up. Exhale, float it down. Last time, inhale, savor the inhalation, hold it up. And in return, savor the exhalation as you float it down. 
Bring your hands together, fingertips up, thumbs against your heart. If you choose to OM today, close your eyes, invite a deep breath in. Um, namaste. It was an honor. It was a great pleasure to get to play.